My name is Thomas May, and I'm here with Joseph de Lacerda. We are presenting on how to install Ubuntu and then subsequently get OpenCV working with it. So on this web page that I'm at here, elinux.org slash beagleboard Ubuntu, this is where you can get the Ubuntu image for the beagleboard, beaglebone, or panda board. The process is fairly straightforward. Um, you do a wget and then this path right here that they give you to get it. You check and see if your package is correct, you unpack it, and then after you unpack it, you run inside of the directory a script that will go out, probe, and see where your uh, micro SD card is. After doing that probe, um, you run setup on it, and that will go through and set up the Beagle board, um, the, the system for it. So in this terminal to the right, after I've already inserted a micro SD card and it's available to be readed, read in. Um, so here's just a demonstration of doing it. All of these commands have to be ran as the root user. So sudo setup card, the SD card, and then probe mmc. This will display, uh, I spelled sudo wrong. This will display for you Sorry. This will display for you all the devices that you currently have installed on your computer. You'll notice that the this dev slash SDA has the smallest amount on it. That is typical for your um, your cards. You want to make sure that you actually target the card and not your main drive, or else you will nuke your hard drive and won't be able to boot up your computer. Um, so verifying now that this is our four gigabyte flash drive, we run the command. Um, set up the card, MMC, U-boot, and then right here it has a list of all the different names of the boards that are available. So BeagleBoard, BX, CX, XM, and we are currently using the Beagle Bone. And so it would be the U-boot dash bone. Um, Sorry, I forgot to put the device. MMC, and then the device that we previously said it was, dev S SDA. And that will say, are you sure that you actually want to nuke this device? And we double check and make sure that dev SDA is in fact the four gigabyte card. It is, so we say yes and hit enter. And this will automatically go off, get all the bootloaders and kernels and all the other special stuffs that it needs to get Ubuntu installed. After that is finished running through the process, you will have a fresh installation of BeagleBone on that mini micro SD card. Um, you take that micro SD card out and you plug it into your device however it needs to be plugged in. Um, once you've done that, with the Beagle bo Bone at least, you can simply plug in the USB device and that will connect you, that will allow, that will start the device into the boot up process. Um, we have, we've already installed, put in our card. The next step is to actually connect to the Beagle Bone. Um, in Linux, that is done through the TTY ports. Now, you can see that there's a whole bunch of TTY ports, but because the BeagleBone is a USB serial connection, you connect through this TTY USB 0. Um, to do that, the command is screen, and then the device that you want to connect through, TTY USB 0, and then you want the baud rate uh, that you connect through with it. Uh, you can also do this through PuTTY. I'm not showing that, but PuTTY has a serial connection on it where you would select the COM port that you want to connect to your device. Um, that is not always the same number, um, and the same goes for Linux. This could have been dev TTY USB 1, 2, 3, or 8, or whatever number Linux decides to throw into the mix. So you have to make sure that the device is actually where it is. Um, a quick check is to just unplug the device and plug it back in and see what appears in the dev TT or in the dev folder. So we have the dev TTY USB zero, which is our Beagle Bone device, and we have the baud rate set onto it. And we hit enter. 
the first thing we will see is completely blank. That is because the serial connection doesn't really read anything. It just waits until something is sent out to it and it sends whatever you put into it. So if you want to see some sort of display prompt, you hit enter and you'll see um, this nice little greeting for the login screen that you're connected. With the Beagle board, it takes a little while to boot up and to, for it to become ready for you to work with the serial connection. So sometimes you need to just be patient and leave it plugged in for a little while before it will let you type in anything or see anything. Once you get to this point, oh, and if that all else fails, then plugging it in, opening up the screen connection, and then hitting the restart button on the Beagle board is a useful way to get the serial connection up and running fairly quickly. So the default username and password for Ubuntu, this version of Ubuntu, the username is Ubuntu, and the default password is temp, T-E-M-P-P-W-D, uh, temp password. And that will log you into the system on the BeagleBone. After you are inside of the BeagleBone, you need to install OpenCV and NumPy for Python. Um, you could use just the native C extensions, but we found that Python was a lot easier to work with than C and C++. So to do that in Ubuntu, the command is sudo, because it needs to be root, apt-get, install, and then python-opencv, and python-numpy. Um, Python-OpenCV will go out and make sure that Python is actually installed on your BeagleBone, and it will also get all the dependencies needed for OpenCV to run. Python-NumPy is a library that's very useful to have with OpenCV uh, for dealing with arrays and such. So after typing that in, you hit enter. It asks you for your password for Ubuntu, which is again temp pwd, and you hit enter. We have previously installed these two packages on, so nothing really happens here. However, if we hadn't have done it, it would have asked us, are we sure we want to continue? So we would have hit yes and then enter after that, and it would go out and install it. For this process to happen, you do need to have your BeagleBone connected to the internet.